going on friends? This is David Potts with Song Notes. In this lesson, I'm going to show you the opening eight measures of Stairway to Heaven. This will be the first of many lessons I do for this song, but really if you want to get started with this song, you got to start here and I want to spend a lot of time breaking this down for you to sort of get you over that hump and get you into this song proper. Now my philosophy with teaching you this is, you know, I can show you the tab and that might be enough for you. You might be able to run with it, right? But I really want to break down how to practice this, how to approach it, how to sort of demystify it, okay? Because looking at a tab, especially when you're new at guitar, it just can look like a lot of mumbo jumbo and you're sort of memorizing the wrong things. I really want to make this simple. I want to show you that this is just a series of a, a handful of chord shapes. And you learn those chord shapes. And suddenly there's a lot less to remember, okay? Instead of remembering like 28 different notes or whatever, you're remembering, you know, four or five or six chord shapes. I'm telling you, once you learn the chord shapes with your left hand, the finger picking will come super naturally and super, super much more easily than it would if you're trying to learn them both at once. So let's dive in. I'm going to go from beginning to end and I'm telling you, number one, first half of this is the harder part. And really those first three or four chords is where most of the difficulty will be. So you get past those and you'll be good to go. You'll be in the clear and this whole song will sort of await you. Okay. So to start with, let's look right at that first chord. This is an A minor, okay? You might know A minor in this position. Now, uh, you can play a barred A minor on the fifth fret, five, seven, seven, five, five, five. This chord though, in this song, only uses the thinnest of those four strings, seven, five, five, five. The key here, what you're going to need to do is be able to bar with your left hand index finger. You're gonna need to push down on the thinnest four strings and you're sort of pushing with a diagonal edge of your left hand, okay? You wanna get that clean sound if you were to play those thinnest four strings. If you get muffling or buzzing, not good, okay? You want them to be nice and clean, okay? So I have some bar chord strength videos. Check those out if you need to build up that strength. But basically, you're going to put your ring finger on the seventh fret, index finger on the fifth fret, and Okay, play the strings uh, from bass to treble, thickest to thinnest, lowest to high. You need to be able to do this, okay? If you can kind of do this, what I recommend doing is practicing, okay? And what I mean by that is practice just doing this in succession. Give yourself a break. One, two, three, four, rest, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, rest, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, rest. When I say rest, I mean let go of your hand. Give your hand a break. Barring really works out your thumb and your wrist and all these intricate muscles in your hand, okay? Come back to it a few times a day, a few days in a row. Those muscles will grow. Your sort of muscle memory will start to develop. Your brain will start to realize, hey, uh, my hand is asking for this a lot. I need to really sort of devote some attention there. And I'm telling you, it will come. If you can't get it the first time or the first day even, stick with it. It'll naturally come, okay? No one can do this when they start playing guitar. You have to learn it. Okay, enough on that. Uh, second and third chord. Same fundamental shape, but what you're doing here is second chord, Instead of the first chord with the ring finger bass note, you have an index finger bass note, okay? And then you're going to put down, I like to put my pinky down on the highest E string on the seventh fret, okay? So this is the second chord. But again, go from first chord and get that bass note change good. And once you get that, then add that pinky, okay? Now I'm gonna cover that second chord again very very shortly third chord the bass note is played by the index finger and then you're putting your pinky down on the eighth fret okay so in sequence those first three chords are remember the bass note Practice this. It works out your barring, but it also works out that bass note transition from ring to middle to index finger, okay? You wanna be able to do that cleanly. Once you get that, you can practice putting for that second chord and for the third chord, your pinky down on the seventh or eighth fret, so. Okay, those are the first three chords. Okay? 
Get those good. The next hard part is this jump from the third chord to the fourth chord, which is down to this D over F sharp. This is fourth, second, third, second, okay? It looks like a regular D chord, but your bass note, instead of a D, is an F sharp. So it's a bar chord, okay? Fourth, second, third, second. And why you had that F sharp bass note is listen to the bass notes of these first four chords. Okay? Very descending, right? And in, in sequence it would be... Okay? Um, now, the hard part here, again, it's not the finger picking in my opinion, it's this jump from this third chord to this. You really want to practice, you, number one, get the third chord down. Make sure you can play the third chord in isolation. Make sure you can play the D over F sharp in isolation. And by isolation I mean just like nothing on the line, no timing, take your time, play it once, right? Once you can sort of play it, then you want to work on this switch. Take it slow. Go back and forth. Okay? Come back to this a few times a day, every time you pick up the guitar, when you're playing other songs. Practice this. The reason it's hard in the actual, when you're playing Stairway to Heaven properly, is you don't have a lot of time. You're, you have like one quarter note to get there, and you have to get from here to here, alright? It's like changing the whole stage setup in a play in a 30 second break or something. I mean, it, it's very little time to do a lot, relatively. The good news is, once you get that switch done, the rest of the intro is a lot easier. Because after this D over F sharp, you're going to an F add 9. And you take a big deep breath because this is not a bar chord for the first time. It's just third, second, first, open. Then there's four strings. Okay, you're gonna stay on that for a while. And then you're gonna go to this. This is a G over B to uh, a minor. If you were to play the middle four strings, it would be second, open, 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 second, second, first, okay? But you're really only playing the A string and the G and B strings, so. Okay. So that's that, and then finally there's this walk up, all on the fifth string. So open, slide from about the 5th-ish fret to the 8th fret, 7th fret, open. This is a good circular thing to practice. Before, If that slides hard, just get this down. And then when you get that down, work in the slide. Okay, so what I just showed you there are all the chord positions you'll need for the entire intro. So again, it's A minor. This is an A minor over G sharp with an add nine on top, I think. A minor over G, D over F sharp, F add nine, da da da. G over B to A minor, and then Okay, now let's look at the finger picking stuff. That's what you start with, with the A minor, okay? So refer to this tab, basically. I'm gonna talk through it though. So for the second and third chord, you're not going uh, thickest to thinnest again. You're sort of starting by plucking the lowest and highest string and then doing a, something similar to a, you know, a B string, G string, B string thing. So look at the tab. Okay, so that's a very common thing, just plucking the first and fourth string and then doing the da 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 in the B string, G string, B string. Okay, so. The F at nine, you're a, bit, a little bit more airy. You have some breaks in there. Break. So I trust that this tab will, if you've learned the chords especially, 
this tab should give you what you need to know there. Okay, so um, I'm going to stop there, I think, because what I did was I showed you the intro, played it, showed you the tab, but more importantly, I sort of hopefully demystified it by showing you these are the chords you'll need, right? Again, it's not a sequence of these 28, 32, whatever notes. It's just a sequence of one, two, three, four, five, six, six chords or so. You learn those chord shapes, the finger picking comes naturally, and you could even get casual and loose with the finger picking. I mean, it might be sacrilege to this song, but... Good way to practice. Play, play the chords correctly. Get creative if you want with timing, with finger picking. And uh, this intro and this whole song will be yours. Again, um, look for my other lessons on the rest of this song. They're coming for sure, if they're not there already. But uh, hopefully, I really wanted to spend a lot of time with this first part of the song, because this is probably be the hardest part for a lot of people learning it. I want to get you over that hump. Otherwise though, check out my website, playsongnotes.com. You'll find my tabs for this and all other notes I have. So if you want to access that outside of this lesson, it's there. Subscribe to this channel if you like this lesson. Let me know in the comments what questions you have. And uh, otherwise, this has been David Potts with Song Notes. Go, have fun, keep on rocking, and uh, take care. Bye-bye.